everyone. It's Lisa here. I'm not sure how well you guys are going to be able to hear me. This is kind of a trial run. I got a new full face mask. Um, hello. Not sure if you can see me. But I was having some issues with resin irritation on my face. And I was using um, kind of like a half uh, face shield. And I wasn't wearing it the whole time. So I have decided to smarten up and wear it the whole time. So I'm going to try this one as a regular recording wearing the mask. And if I find that it's just the sound is just too, too terrible, then I will do a voiceover, I guess. I'm hoping to not have to do that, but this is my trial run. So anyways, I've mixed up my resin. Today I'm using Moz Tabletop Epoxy Pro. And I'm using a mold from Julie Cuts, Pouring Your Heart Out. And I'm... I've got an order, a special request, so I'm going to play tonight. Hopefully it turns out okay, but this might just be a practice run. We'll see. I'm trying a couple different techniques. Using um, I'm using Arteza Copper and Arteza Bronze. And I haven't got my black out yet. I'm going to use black. Um, here's... Arma Arts black pigment. I'm going to play with those colors to start with anyways. So I'm going to pour my resin into three different containers for those colors. And I'm going to reserve some because I may throw in some sort of white or cream color to go with those. But I'm just going to try these ones to start with. All right. And I should have had this guy sitting upside down. Maybe I'll leave him to last and do the other one. Just standing him upright here. There we go. Okay. So, I thought I had a little more in it. I want to use that for the black. So, this is the copper. And, yeah, put that up in there. Now, I really wasn't sure if there was a difference between the colors copper and bronze so but I came down into my kit my Arteza box and found that there are two different colors so I was glad that I had them both so that is the bronze right there and now we will try oh sorry that was the copper this is the bronze I haven't used it yet okay Okay, so the copper definitely has more red tone in it. Oh, this can be really nice, I think. And just mixing up the bronze now. It's got more brown tone, less red. Still has red in it, more orangey, I guess. That's what that's looking like right now. Okay, and now I'm going to attempt to see if the black again. Okay, do that for now. Oh, 
actually pretty good, but I think I'll get put one more squirt in there. Oh no, I forgot I had gold foil in the cup that I put that in. Okay. There we go, that should be good. Okay, so this is kind of a practice, but I'm going to put my black down first. I'm just going to use my heat gun on low here, spread that out a bit. I put it on high. I'm going to use my spatula here. See, I used up all my black, so I'm making up some more black. that there's something in here. I'm just going to try to get it out. Like that. Okay. All right, the fun stuff's about to happen. I just needed to give these a little bit more of a mix because you want to make sure your micas are really well mixed so you don't get like chunks in there. All right, here we go. All right, I'm just going to take it up, lift it off first, and then make some stringy lines in there. And we'll do the same, that was the copper, we'll do the same for the bronze. And hold it up above the cup first so that there isn't a big blob at the beginning. Like that. I <laughs> should have left it up a little higher before I dropped it. One more of those. Okay, now I'm going to take the heat gun and move that around.
I'm going to put some more color in it though. Okay. Okay, that's uh, the first one, and I can see that there is a little bit of a bubble there. I'm going to spray that with my isopropyl alcohol. Cool. Okay, now I'll try something a little different. Um, I'm going to try black on half and copper on half. And then I think I'm going to drizzle the bronze kind of through the middle. And then uh, after this sits for a little bit, I'm going to come back with uh, um, a toothpick and I'm going to swirl the colors a little bit more, but I need them to sort of set up a little bit first. Clean up my mold here a little bit. Both of these coasters will need a top coat. Um, and I will probably just do clear. Although I might do another layer like this to give it another dimension. Um, I'll see what it looks like when it cures because it, it will move a bit and change a little bit. So depends how much it changes. And uh, I think I'll do another one. Um, but I need to make a little bit more black. And then instead of blending the colors as much as I did, I think I'll leave them so they're not as much bl blended. Let's see how that turns out. I'm just going to move this up slightly. Go down in here now. Mm -hmm. 
can squirt this with my alcohol. up to help but she doesn't like the alcohol spray very much so she's giving me a dirty look Oops. that's what you shouldn't do out of the copper. Yeah. I might as well mix up some more. Yep, because I did the whole side there of it, I guess. That makes sense. And I need more black. Might as well just get them all mixed up. Actually, I think I might leave that one and not do the top on it because um, I might use that as a as a base coat and then drizzle the colors on it with some more black. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I want to experiment with that, so I'm going to definitely try that. So for this one, then I think I will do. Half copper, half bronze, and black in the middle.
Okay. The fun thing about resin, you can make the sevens and change them along the way. So I am going to add some more color to this guy. So I see all the color starting to disappear because that's what black will do. So now that I have it, I mean, I could have done it the next day too. Like if I do that for this one. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do it now. Okay. Now to try to decide whether or not I want to try to blend that or just leave it like that. All right, Let's see, I need to fill in a little bit around in here. Do the same with this one. Just trying to. Trying to take over, scoop some of that out. Okay. This one's a bit better. Still bothering me a bit though. Oh, I'm just making a mess now. I might end up doing some swirls here too. All right, so um, I think I am going to leave that. So we'll see what that looks like. And now I'm going to do some swirls. I'm just going to use my ball, uh, my dotting thing here, and just. Well, that's kind of cool if it stays like that. Okay, now for this one, I think I'm going to pick up some color from, <laughs> what a mess I'm making here, from my mica. And I'm just going to drag that through. Okay. Just gonna do that again, like that. All right. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it small like that end and bigger here. Maybe I will just have to do this side a little bit more. There we go. Okay.
It's going to be the same idea with this one. I'm putting a little copper on my dotting tool first. There. All right. Okay, well, I think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, I will show you the next step. Hello, everyone. I'm back to continue on with these coasters. So I showed the pictures to my client and she liked this one the best. So I'm going to put another coat on this to try to give it another um, dimension. And then I'm going to try to do something different with these ones. And I'm going to try to do that the same as this. We'll see how that works. I may have to do another one. Um, because she wants to, but I'm going to, I'm going to play with my colors a bit here and try to do a few things here. So, um, so I mixed up some more, but I'm not, I didn't show you that because I already showed you that in the first video. Okay. So I'm just going to, well, actually I'll add, I'll add black to this one first. Um, I want quite a bit of black in there. And then for this one, I'm just going to kind of pour some random in there. Okay, and I'm going to take my heat gun and blow that around a bit and see what, what happens. liking this one but I lost a lot of the black in there but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move it around a little bit and then I'll put the dryer on it again that should uh, that should do the trick and uh, now I'm gonna drizzle the colors oh I'm going to take my little spatula guy and get it blacking everywhere here. So I'm still wearing the face mask. Um, and I really hope that you guys will leave some comments whether or not you find it difficult to understand me. Or if you'd rather that I did a voiceover rather than wearing the mask and talking. Um, any suggestions or ideas would be appreciated. Okay. Just taking out a cloth to wipe off my spatula. I don't want it frozen on it. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to do the same idea that I did for this one.
I did go out to the edges when I did this the first time, but resin just has a natural tendency to get sucked into the middle. All right. And this one's starting to make its shape, so I'm thinking I should hit it again with the heat gun. All right. Now I need to lick up a little bit more black. Still liking this, but I don't really like that ring there. But it's probably still going to move a bit. Okay, I need to make up a little bit more black. And now I'm just going to take some of the clear resin, just drizzle some of that in there too. Get out the heat gun again. I kind of took away from the way it was before but wow 
I absolutely love this. These two here especially. Wow. So, but I see it's pulling in again. It's looking completely different. Now, I personally love it, but I'm not sure how my customer will feel about it. And see, this is getting smaller, the circle, so I'm liking that. Again, it looks completely different. And I think I'm going to try and do another one. I'm pretty sure I have enough resin left to do another one like that. So. And you see me just spritzing them here with my isopropyl alcohol ink. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll do this one. I'll definitely have enough if I did it, do it in there. And then I can finish this mold up. Okay. All right. Um... I'm going to put just a bit more resin in these guys so we have more of the colors. Whew, I'm getting hot in this mask, but I would rather wear it than go through that itchiness that I had. Okay, that goes in this way. I don't need very much because there's not very much in there. Okay. Actually, these colors are close enough. I'm just going to use this stick. I do have the window open too. All right, let's just give these a quick stir. Here we go again. Huh. This one keeps sucking in. Let's see if I can use it in here and then put some in there too. Get out my heat gun again. I'm seeing something here. Okay. I thought it was a cat here. It wasn't.
Isn't that cool? I love it. I guess I should do a little bit more on that one. You see the lines a little bit too much. I'm trying to make them look similar. That should be better. Okay, I still have some left. So I'm just gonna keep going here. Go. Here it is. Whoa. Okay, last shot with the heat gun. And I'll clean up my mold a little bit. Okay, there we go. You see how this is closed right up now? Loving that. Really liking these too. So, just 
just about done. I'm just going to spray them a little bit more. Wait five minutes. Maybe give them one last spray. And then uh, I'm going to clean up my mold a little bit. And I will be back for the reveal. Hello. I'm just here to do the last step on my mermaid posters. So I was just about to do this and I realized I didn't have the camera on. So I've made up my resin. I'm using stone coat countertops, art coat. So it will have a heat resistant pop coat. And then I got my mermaid all cut out. And now it's just a matter of putting it on the coaster where I want it. Okay, so that one going to go there and I'm just kind of tapping down trying to get rid of any bubbles that there might be okay. just need to wipe my hair now okay so now I need to take the next one and figure out where I want it to go so Maybe right there. Yeah. Okay. So now I took it off. Just putting a little bit of resin on there. Just enough for it to stick down to it. Again, just tapping it in, trying to release any bubbles that might have gotten under there. Okay. All right. It's right there. Yeah. No, how about right there? Okay. the last one. This one's a lot darker than the other one. So you can still see her. Now, I'm hoping that it doesn't move around when I put my top coat on here. But if it does, I might have to wait for like half an hour, an hour and come back. So, here goes the first one. Oh, and I should also tell you, I did put some uh, school glue on the back so that if it there are any drops on the bottom they should come off with the blue so and i also have my little finger guy here so that i put this on my finger and then i can move the resin out to the edges
see. So there's the first one. And I'm gonna spray it. Oh, my alcohol ink's out in the other room. Okay, I will have to grab it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna grab it. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Another one out there that I was spraying down earlier. All right. So that should level out. And it didn't move at all. So that was great. Now I'm going to start the next one. This one here had a little bit of a ridge on it, um, so it wasn't quite as full as the last one, but it also makes it a little bit easier for uh, putting the top coat on too, because it's got a little, like it kind of stops at the end, rather than going over. Just taking a look at it, seeing if I need to fix up any spots or bring it a little bit farther out to the edge. All right. Yeah. Those ones haven't got anything on them. Scared myself for a second. And put the ones that are done at the back now.
Going to the last one. I'm just uh, taking a look at them. This one here looks like it was maybe trying to come up. So I put a little bit more resin on top of it. Hoping that it behaves. If it doesn't, I'll have to put another top coat on top of it just to hold it down. Because uh, it'll be stuck for sure with this resin, but I don't want it to be poking up above the surface. So yeah, I'm just going to stick around here and I'll spray it again in probably about five minutes. Just make sure that there's no surprise bubbles. And uh, I'll show you the uh, end result. All right, so I had a little problem with my mermaids on these coasters. They all started to lift up. So part of my problem I realized was that my vinyl wasn't um, the sticky kind, it was the HTV, so it didn't have any stick on it. So it didn't stick to the coasters for one thing. So I cut some more mermaids out and um, these kind are the sticky kind. So I'm going to put them on and do another top coat. So I'll start with these ones here. So. Get my tweezers.
Just trying to make sure there's no bubbles or anything underneath them. And see, they're already sticking, so that's already better than it was before. All right. Next one. I'll just put that. Yeah, that's better. Okay, then. This hair wanted to stick down and then it was leaving a big bump, but I got it. All right. All right. And the last one. This one has a little thing on it, but that's why I put the glue on the bottom. So hopefully that will get rid of my problem there. There we go. This was the one I couldn't get off from the top, so I started it from the bottom and it worked. I see a little, oh no, that's supposed to be there. That's just a strand of hair. This one's gonna be really hard to see on here, but it's all right, I'm putting it on anyways. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to mix up some more resin. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, I just moved it over to the other side. So, I'm just going to put that on. Okay. And now I'm just going to, oh, I need to put, sorry, I'm a little, Unorganized today. So I put this little guy on my finger. That's why it's called a finger condom, I believe. Uh, anyways, I put that on there and just push the resin to the outside. Put the heat down on it again quickly. Yeah. Sorry. 
right, so I'm just gonna do this for the rest of them. Um, you've already watched me do the top coats last time, so there's probably you probably don't want to watch me do it a second time. So I'll come back um, for the final reveal. And here's how my beautiful mermaid coasters turned out. They're very nice and shiny and glossy. And this was a custom order for someone. I thought she was gonna just take two, but she liked them so much she's taking all four.